In the headlines, scary moment when a gas tanker discharging gas at the Kumasi shoe factory caught fire. Phase 2 of University of Ghana Medical Center officially opened by President Akufuado. Accra Tema commuters heave a sign of relief as the motorway is reopened to traffic on Friday after repair works on the Laklakpa Bridge. And taxi thieves arrested in Deno. Welcome to Graphic Online's News in Brief. It was a scary moment in Kumasi this afternoon when a gas tanker which was discharging gas caught fire. Graphic Online's Emmanuel Bar reports from Kumasi that firefighters responded swiftly to contain the fire. Eyewitnesses said the tanker was discharging gas into the company's cylinder when it caught fire at around 11 a.m. The explosion caused a panic, resulting in injuries to some workers of the factory who rushed out for cover. A video posted on social media shows school children and residents running away from the explosion site to also take cover. The driver of the tanker, Kwame Abugri, gave this explanation. The second phase of the University of Ghana Medical Center has been inaugurated, paving way for full operationalization of the facility located on the University of Ghana campus at Lagon. The 14.5 million euros project commenced in 2019. It is expected to provide healthcare services such as neuro and cardiothoracic surgeries, psychiatry and rehabilitation, cancer management and assisted reproductive technology. In addition, there is also a medical simulation and training center, clinical services section and a medical and scientific research center. Besides, it would also provide, among other services, an additional housing accommodation unit and the provision of drugs and non-drug consumables. The first of the UGMC, which comprises eight separate buildings and houses, different specialized areas such as emergency, imaging, operating theaters, laboratories, and a computer room, was undertaken at a cost of $271 million. The late former president, Professor J.E.A. Mills, cut the sword for the construction of the first phase of the medical center on March 12, 2011, while his successor, former President John Dramani Mahama, commissioned the first phase. Our presidential correspondent, Chris Nunu, was there today when President Akufuado commissioned the second phase and filed this report. The center will provide specialist care in areas including urology, ophthalmology, ear, nose and throat, cardiology, dermatology, neurology, and interventional radiology. Tema Accra commuters today heaved a sign of relief when the motorway, which was partly closed for repair works on the damaged Laklakpa Bridge, was reopened to traffic today. It followed the successful completion of the rehabilitation works. By 6 a.m. Friday, motorists were seen commuting to the various destinations. The motorway was opened after laboratory analysis of the concrete works was done yesterday, ahead of the 14 days schedule initially indicated for the project. The analysis was to help safeguard the integrity of the structure as well as ensure that it can withstand the axle load capacity that plies the stretch on a daily basis. And before we go, Two people have been arrested by the police in Denu in the Volta region for their alleged complicity in an attempt to sell a taxi cab stolen from its owner at Sakumono near Tema in Greater Accra. The suspects had taken the taxi cab to a possible bidder in Denu, but unknown to them, the police had a tip-off. The police have identified the suspects as Kofikata, 33, a resident of Lashibi near Accra, and Jacob Ativo, 24, from Akachi. A third suspect, whose name was only given as Jacob, also from Sakumono, is on the run. The suspects are in police custody, assisting investigations. Graphic Online's News in Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news.
Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us and on Facebook at Daily Graphic, also on YouTube at GraphicGH. I am Enoch Oda Ohiniafa Frimpong. Subscribe now.